This is the AOU. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's spelled A O Y U E. The uh, AOU 128 soldering tip cleaner. It came with uh, the cleaner itself, uh, 2 amp 12 volt power supply, a uh, cord, and this here that seems like an O ring, but I think it's a spare belt for the cleaner. Um, construction of the cleaner itself. Let's zoom in. Don't know how easy it is to see inside of it, but it's got some brass uh, brushes in there. They kind of kind of turn lightly because they they got the belt. Um, there's a tray here. It comes out. This is going to hold you know bits of solder and stuff that fall off the uh, soldering iron. Um, it's all plastic, you know, there's a switch on the back, 12 volt jack. You know, this thing seems to, like, held magnetically, kind of grabs it. Um, let's, uh, let's try it out. So here's a picture of the soldering iron tip before cleaning. As you can see, it's uh, pretty ugly looking, lots of crusty crud on it. Let's see how well it cleans it up. So I'm going to turn it on. See, it's kind of spinning. It's, you know, it doesn't spin so fast that it hurts you. And it's, you can kind of stop, stop it because it's got that belt in there that's kind of gives it some play. Um, I've heated up my soldering iron already. It says, you know, for best effect to do it while your soldering iron is hot. So let's, you know, if you push it in too far, you stop it. So I'll just push it in lightly. I'll kind of twirl it around a bit. It does seem to have polished it up. Then it says to uh, immediately retin your soldering iron. So I'll uh, tin it, and just for good measure, I'm going to hit it a second time and uh, retin it up real nice. Then we'll put the soldering iron under the microscope and see how much better it looks. So here's a view of the soldering iron after it's been cleaned and tinned. You know, it looks nicer. I don't know if it looks perfect, but I think it looks pretty good. Uh, you can be the judge of what good of a job you think it did. Okay, let's take it apart and look inside. I don't think it's going to be that hard because it's actually uh, designed to be taken apart. Four screws. Yeah, so we can see there's uh, two brushes. Here on the side, let me give it some more light. You can see uh, the motor, the little uh, belt, runs the brushes. There's the motor, it's got a couple wires. Don't see any part number on the motor anywhere. And then back here, we've just got a uh, power switch and a DC jack. Um, I don't know, it doesn't seem like much to it for 50 bucks, but did clean the soldering iron tip. 
And just to see how much uh, juice it's uh, actually pulling, I hooked it up to uh, my switch mode power supply, and it's currently pulling about uh, 0.6 amps. See if we put a little bit of load on it, on the motor we can get it up to about 0.9 amps, 900 milliamps. So it seems like a 2 amp supply should be uh, adequate for it. Thank you for watching my video. Please visit my website at www.smbaker.com for more electronics projects and sand rail stuff. Bye.